Hi, it's Ian Wilson from Q-Tips, and in this quick video, I want to download the latest long-term release from QGIS and install it. So I just need to go to the QGIS uh, website, and I'm using the Firefox web browser. So if I just type in QGIS and then the predictstock.org, and then we already see here that the the latest version has been released, 3.4, and here's the download option. So you'll see there's a, if we just click on this download option, and you'll see there's a number of options here. So now my, my machine is a PC running on uh, Windows 7, and I need to just choose the, the correct application for my computer, which is this one here. So just quickly, if we look at the, 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 the releases, we've got the um, 3.4, which is the latest long-term release. And then further down here, we've got the 2.18, which is also a long-term release, but it's the more stable of the long-term releases. Now, what the long-term release means is that uh, this is the, the latest application that QGIS are uh, supporting. And they will run support on this particular release uh, for a period of time, which uh, enables users to, to use the same version when new updates come along. And the updates won't be complete version changes. They'll just be tweaks here and there. So that's an advantage of using a long-term release is there's, there's not massive changes every time there's a, there's a new application release. So we're going to install this one. So I'm going to click on it. And then I just need to save it to my computer. So I just click Save. And there goes the download. And when that's finished, we'll install it. And there's a download page, uh, or a little message here, once you've started the download uh, from QGIS, and that is a, a Donate Now button, or it has a Donate Now button, and then also, uh, well, it closes this message if you want to ignore that particular uh, download button. But what, 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 we, what we're doing here is using some um, open source software, which is very useful. So, so if you do feel like uh, downloading, down, uh, donating and supporting QGIS, that's, that's completely up to you but it might be a, a worthwhile thing for you to do anyway because uh, the more we support this product, the better it gets and uh, the more widely used it will become. Okay, so once that download has completed, you can install it. And it's fairly big, 429 megabytes. And I'm just going to install that. But first, I want to uninstall my previous version of QGIS, which is the Las Palamas 2.18.23. So I want to go onto my system and just select to uninstall programs. Just go and find it. There it is. And then just right click and say uninstall. And that is going to ask me if I want to uninstall it. And just click yes. And then remove that application. Okay, that's finished now, and that should be good enough. All right, so I think these shortcuts are just shortcuts to nowhere. If I try and open that, yeah, it's just telling me there's nothing there. So what I can do is just delete those two shortcuts and then any other shortcuts that are on the system. Okay, so now the next step is just to run that exe. So if I go to my, where's my downloads? And it's this latest version here. So if I double click on that, it's going to ask my system if I want to, to change it. And my answer is yes. And then click next. And here's the license agreement, which you can read through in your own time. Once you agree with that, click I agree. And then choose a location for the installation of the application. My program files or the default one is fine as my destination folder. Now if you're new to QGIS and you don't have any data to work with, you can download some, some demo data that you can use to, to learn the package. I've got my own data, so I'm going to leave these unchecked and just click install. And then what will happen next is will start unpacking and installing that package on your system. Okay, it looks like it's nearly done. And it'll take uh, varying amounts of time depending on your system. 
Okay, so it says it's finished. So let's click on finish. And what have we got? We have got a new folder that's been added to our desktop. And inside that folder are the shortcuts to the application. So we've got the Saga GIS, which is packaged with this installation, as well as the the, the Geo4 shell. And then also we've got the QGIS desktop with Grass and the QGIS desktop 3.4.3. And something that looks like it's missing here would be the um, it's the browser. <clears throat> the name of it sort of escaped me for a while there, but the QGIS desktop or the QGIS browser, which enables you to have a look at the files, is not here. So I imagine uh, I don't know for sure yet, but if we open the application, we might see an option to look at the files. Okay, uh, it's going to ask us a few a few options here. Do I want to clean start or import my settings? I'm just going to go for a clean start. Let's say let's get started. And just drag this off to the side. And it's uh, opening up on my second screen here. As soon as that's done, I'll drag it over to the to the primary screen to show you what's happening. Okay, so it's opened up. And I'm just putting it on my primary screen here. And there we go. So that's the, the browser application that I was talking about. It's not... Uh, there was no shortcut for it as a browser, but it's it's opened up, and we've still got access to the browser. And if we look at the menus here, yeah, you see there's also the second browser panel panels. So you still got access to the browser. I generally like to leave mine as a as a tab instead of a, a docked window, so I can flip between the two if I just need to go and look at my browser. But otherwise, things look very similar. And um, that's how you install QGIS 3.4. So, yeah, um, I'm going to have a look at this and see uh, what applications are available, if there's anything new or if there's anything lacking. Um, hopefully, I don't have to, to retrace my steps and go back to 2.1.8. I'm hoping to be able to move on to the latest long-term release, which is 3.4. So I'll let you know how I get on. Otherwise, um, if, you, if you have a look at the Q-Tips channel, you'll see some other videos. And uh, yeah, hopefully from now on, the videos that I create will be in 3.4. So let's get on with that. Cheers.